undocumented immigrants in San Diego. ICE says that it was after criminals, but more than half of the people they arrested have never been convicted. 10 News anchor Brian Schlonsky is at the Otay Mesa Detention Center, where ICE officials say these sweeps are nothing new. Brian. That's right for years and in communities across the country, but with California right now in a battle with the federal government, busts like these draw major attention. 115 people in three days. This video from U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement shows officers conducting a roundup in San Diego. Conducting an operation where we're targeting uh, criminal aliens that are in the community. We also are targeting uh, individuals that were, have been ordered removed by an immigration judge. 50 of the arrests did in fact net convicted criminals, from gang members to spouse beaters to drug dealers, even a man from Kazakhstan wanted internationally by Interpol. It's about, you know, targeting those uh, that pose the greatest risk to national security and public safety. ICE agents also targeted people who have come back to the U.S. after already being deported and people who have orders of removal from an immigration judge. They'll be uh, removed uh, as soon as possible. But also caught up in the bust, 58 other undocumented immigrants who before this had no criminal record. ICE says it wasn't targeting them, but if agents run into people who have broken immigration law, they'll be arrested too. The bust comes at a time when San Diego immigration laws are in the spotlight. California is currently being sued by the Justice Department over its sanctuary city laws. And a new report from the LA Times claiming San Diego ICE agents arrested more immigrants with no criminal history than anywhere else in the country from October to December of last year. However, ICE says that is not a product of the Trump administration. We've been conducting targeted enforcement operations for years. We've done it under different administrations. Those people with no criminal history will have a hearing before an immigration judge. Reporting in Otay Mesa, Brian Schlonsky, 10 News.